Today on Styrene Haven Models, I show this bottle of paint who's boss. I take this model to the salon. I take a B17 for a spin. And I get to see just how bad my seams really are. I've always been a little intimidated by natural metal finishes. I've had a go on it on a few models in the past, but it seems like for every one model that I get right, I always seem to get two or three wrong, and they either end up getting repainted something non-metal or just in the trash. With the recent success I had on a Trumpeter 148 scale MiG-19, I wanted to take those same lessons that I learned and some of the new techniques that I picked up from some fellow modelers of mine and try it on this Airfix 172nd B-17 model. One of the new products that I used on the MiG-19 was the Style & Res Primer and I really enjoyed this product. It goes down really smooth, you can pour it straight from the bottle and it dries out very quickly and is sandable within minutes. So I wanted to try this technique again on my B-17 in preparation for the natural metal finish. Natural metal finishes are notoriously unforgiving and highlight any problems or seams that you didn't correct prior to applying the natural metal finish. Using my trusty Grex Tritium, I dialed in the airbrush using a PSI of about 25 to 30 PSI because the paint is a little bit thicker out of the bottle, so you do have to get a higher pressure coming out of your airbrush to get it to go on smoothly. From there, it was just a matter of applying several light coats. I wasn't looking for a complete coverage as I'm going to have to be sanding and correcting any of the seams and I'll be coming back with a second and possibly even a third coat of primer before going to a black base. Style and Res dries quickly within minutes and usually can be sanded within less than an hour. But if you need to do several coats of the primer or if you're just trying to flip your model on different sides, you can use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process. Usually takes within 10 to 20 seconds and you're able to handle the model using a low power hair dryer on the warm setting. After getting a decent coat on the B17, I went ahead and sprayed all the individual smaller parts just to make sure in case I need to make any corrections with those parts. What impresses me the most about this primer is that if it runs, it will still dry completely flat. So even if you have runs or spatter or dots of paint that get on your model, don't worry about it. They will actually dry very, very flat. I and mean, even if there was a little bit of a raise, you could easily sand it down. Now I'm able to inspect the entire model and all the other smaller parts to see if there's any corrections that I'm going to need to take care of before applying another coat of primer to double check that work and then eventually getting to the black base on the model. Being a new tool kit, it does fit very well so there's not a lot of work that has to be done. There's a few spots here and there along the seams that I'll just have to use super glue to fill in. The only larger issue that will require a little bit more attention will be at the rear turret here, the rear gun where I'll have to take care of a small step between the two pieces that made it together on the fuselage. I hope you've enjoyed this deeper dive into using Style & Res Primer. You can also get it in three different colors. It comes in black, gray, and white. It's also sold under the MIG name Big Shot Primer and also under Ultimate Modeling Products Primer. Be sure to join me on the next video where I continue cleaning up the seams and getting the first initial coats of black base on this B-17 in preparation for the natural metal finish. Like and smash that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the latest videos from Styrene Haven.